Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Chee Bears Off Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. And here we are on another clear blue sky, sunny day. Uh, the high I saw earlier was 103. Um, normally, about this time, the temperature goes up a little bit, and the, just before sunset, and then it comes back down again. So it might make 104 or 105, but needless to say, just a little too hot for working. So, I waited most of the day and then I came out here about 5 p.m. It's a little later than that now, but I want to get a video in. You can see the monsoonal clouds all over the other side of the valley over there. And uh, they're supposed to be back. Um the end, end of the weekend going into next week. So, I've been out here again, gathering uh, parts and cutting and grinding and making all kinds of noise. So anyway, I'm gonna show you where I got with my uh, rock crusher, or uh, should I call it a hammer mill or a portable hammer mill, um, and my uh, hammer bits here I haven't done any welding yet because just too hot and I've got to put on all kinds of protective gear to do welding and then get inside of the mask and add heat to the room while you're welding and in no time at all sweat is running in your eyes and you're trying to weld so you don't have to wait for that but anyway, I got some parts put together. Let me show you what I've got here. Okay, so this is gonna be the power on it. And the modification I, d I came up with is instead of just making two separate units, one to use the, the hammer on and one with a rotary chain um, rock mill, then <clears throat> why not make, them, uh, make one that'll do both? So that came up to be my idea. So I said I was going to get a piece of quarter inch plate for the bottom here. And as I started looking around through my uh, scrap and desert finds and things like that, I came up with a couple of these quarter inch thick plates right here that uh, you can see I cut a half circle out of there. Well, there's two of these laying around because I cut a half circle out of one and a half circle out of the other. So I got those ready right here, part one and part two, and I'll weld them down the center. That's why I got it uh, V ground there. And then I'll weld it right onto the case here. So that's gonna be a solid backing. So I can take this, this piece with the bottom and flip it over and then have this uh, tub on it where I can use the hammers to crush up the bigger rocks and crush them down into smaller rocks. Okay, so that solves that part. So then I decided to make a larger plate for the bottom and I made that out of eighth inch plate because it's gonna end up being able to bolt on and off of this unit. Now these are of course upside down I just put them there so that I could check to see the size that I need. So th these will turn over and get welded to the, the main tub and then the bolt will stick through the plate, through a hole in the plate, four of them. I got one around the back there too. So there'd be four of those to hold that plate on. And then I made this gasket. I still have to make the holes for when the, uh, where the bolts are going to go. But uh, I'll do that when the bolts are hot from welding. I'll just stick this thing on there and it'll get tell me exactly where to make my holes. Okay, so got my $9.99 um, Harbor Freight four and a half inch angle grinder with a 5 8 arbor. And then I got my 5 8 bolt here and the connector that goes on it as you can see and then I put a couple of coupler nuts on here I cut this one in half because this part will be to mount it to the unit and then this bolt will get cut shorter 
So this part right here will end up being right up against that back plate. So that'll that'll seal the back end and the unit will be fastened to the plate with angle brackets and bolts that go right through into here and then there'll be one arm coming out that'll have another part that holds this part steady. All right. So the chain will get cut half link and welded onto here with two links left sticking out. And that should give me an, enough uh, distance to go all the way around this. Now, I don't know if I have enough of this chain because I need four um, pieces. One, two, three, four so that it's balanced. And that will uh, spin around inside here and crush up the rocks. Now I'm thinking I may also take this piece of uh, two by two square tubing and I may make a place where I can weld that on and have it um, for where I can put the rocks in without having to take the whole thing apart to, to add and um, remove the crushed rock. So I've got a, a plan where I'm thinking of doing that and I'll have a cap that goes over it so that the dust and rocks won't come flying back out of it. But I know you're supposed to put two bends in this thing, uh, an angle this way and then an angle that way um, so that when you put stuff in there, it can't come flying back out and hit you in the forehead or anything like that. So, I got that part figured out. Um, I will put a, a thing on here, but I'm not sure if I want to cut a square in the side of this housing and put the inlet on there. And if I did that, then I could also cut a square in this back plate coming out of here for, on a, a slight angle and then angling straight down and that would be the outlet so I could catch the the dust coming out into a five gallon pail and then pan it out. Now I got some other metal pieces here because I'm going to want to put a um, some type of a uh, a support on it uh, or a foot so that I can clamp it to a bench so it doesn't vibrate and run all over the uh, homestead and I have to chase it down and say come back here with my gold you know how that stuff goes so this is where I cut the circle out for the other plate and I did that with my uh, four and a half inch grinder here uh, Let's see, what else am I going to tell you? Well, I think that's about it. And I've got a, a few more things to figure out. And um, once this is all put together, that uh, grinder will always be with this unit. I can take the cover plate off, the grinder comes off with it, turn this thing over. I can use the, the hammer bits and smash that up. And also, for really tough rocks, I have this electric jackhammer right here. And that electric jackhammer right now just has a pin on it. But I do have somewhere around here, I did make a, uh, a piece that bolts onto that. Oh, I think I see it down here. Nope, that ain't it. Uh, that isn't it. I ain't talking right. <laughs> Oh, I isn't talking right. All right. But yeah, I got it around here somewhere. There's a piece that goes on there and locks down, and then it's got a hammer head on the bottom of it. So I can use that to hammer stuff, and I use it for driving pins in the ground and things like that. It's around here somewhere. I know I just took it off because I was going to loan that um, demo hammer to the neighbor so he could dig a trench. But, 
haven't heard back from him, so I'm not a guy that's going to go chasing somebody to say, hey, you want to borrow my tool? I already gave him the offer, and it's up to him now to make contact with me, not the other way around. So, we got that uh, all set up, and I think I'm going to call this one a day, and I'll get this thing finalized with all the parts that I need in the right place and then I can uh, grab the welder out. I might put all this stuff outside and uh, set up a table out there and then work on a table outside for the welding and uh, I'll have to do, do that either early morning or end of day because it's just way too hot through the day for that stuff. All right everybody Thanks for joining me. Don't forget thumbs up and don't forget to share and subscribe. This is G-Bear, hoping I earned your subscription and signing off.